Welcome again, guys. Hello again for another video lecture uh, here in Chemistry for Engineers. This is Module 2, Crystal Structure. We will be discussing Crystal System. Sa mga hindi pa po nakakilala sa akin, I am Eugene Saito Gumbay, and I am your instructor for Chemistry for Engineers ngayong semester na ito. So, let's go on with the video. So, for this video, we have two objectives. The first one would be describe the structure of crystalline solids. And pangalawa, we will identify the different crystal systems. So, we'll be talking about crystal systems uh, because malaki ang um, epekto nito to describe the structure of your crystal solids or crystalline solids. Okay, so now let's have crystalline solids first. Okay, how do we define crystalline solids? When we talk about crystalline solids, solids, these are solids having an ordered internal arrangement of atoms, ions, or molecules. Okay, Let, just like for example, as you see in the screen, that's actually um, solid water. With, of course, you can see there the red balls as your oxygen and the gray balls are your hydrogens. And then your arrangement ng ice or ng solid water. And they form a crystalline solid. And because, take note, crystalline solid have arranged, uh, internal arrangement. Meron siyang pagkakaayos. Repeat, meron din siya tinatawag na repeating patterns. Meron din siya tinatawag na symmetry. So pag hinati mo siya, makikita kang uh, mirror na, na, na mapansin. So those are actually characteristics of your crystalline solids. Na hindi mo matatagpaan sa inyong amorphous. So, that's the idea. So, looking further into that, we have some terms related to the crystal structure. The crystal structure is the structure or the arrangement of your particles in a crystalline solid. So, let's have first the term lattice point. So, when we talk about lattice point, this is the center of the specific positions occupied by the atoms, molecules, and ions in a crystalline solid. Ito yun yung mga parang meeting point. Okay? And when we talk about crystal lattice, it's a repeating pattern of atoms, molecules, or ions in a crystal that is, take note, it's three-dimensional array. Meaning, ito yung three-dimensional, 3D arrangement ng mga particles ko in a crystal structure. So if you have this one, okay, this is one called, this is yung nakikita nyo dyang figure is actually an example of a crystal lattice. As you can see na yung crystal structure mo, makikita mo, repeating pattern lang siya at pinapakita sa crystal lattice na yan yung repeating patterns at the same time the 3D arrangement. And as you can see, yung mga meeting point na yun, ito, as you can, uh, no, makikita nyo yung cursor ko, that's actually your lattice points or lattices. Okay, so those are the center of specific positions occupied by atoms, molecules, or ions in a crystalline solid. Usually, you found your atoms right there sa mga lattices na yan. But take note, not all crystals have their atoms or molecules found on their lattices. May mga crystals kasi that you can find their um, atoms dito sa mga sides na to or dito sa face na to ng lattice nyo. Okay, so when we talk about crystal lattice, this is the 3D arrangement of your lattice points. So as you can see in the figure. Now, let's go to the smallest part or smallest pattern that you can see in your crystal structure and we call that one your unit cell. Now, your unit cell is the smallest repeating pattern in the crystalline solid. If we will try to go back in the previous um, figure, may mapapansin ninyo na itong part na ito, itong cell na ito, itong uh, shape na ito, itong geometric shape na ito, ito lang yung paulit-ulit. Papunta sa taas, papunta dun sa loob, papunta sa gilid. So, pinaulit-ulit lang itong geometric shape na ito. And that's what you call your unit cell. Okay? It's the smallest repeating pattern of the crystalline solid. Okay, so as you can see here, you have your lattices or lattice points and you have one unit cell. Ngayon kapag ginawa mo siyang 3D arrangement, you have now your crystal lattice. So I do hope na, na, na bibigyan ng differentiation lattice points 
unit cell, and crystal lattice. So this one is your unit cell. Okay? One cell. Okay? And this cell, kapag in mo sa in 3D dimension, or 3 dimension, you have this one. And this is actually your crystal lattice. Okay? Take note that unit cells are like bricks in a wall. They are all identical and repeating. Take note that crystalline solids have repeating patterns. So, yung repeating patterns na yun is your unit cell and all your unit cells should be identical in repeating. Unless, of course, you have two types of unit cells in a crystalline solid, which is possible. Pero, makikita natin na paulit-ulit lang or alternate lang yung dalawang class ng unit cell na yun. Okay? So, that's still possible for your crystalline solids. But take note, your unit cell should be identical and repeating. Okay? Now, for your unit cell, for a basic unit cell, this is actually a simple cube. Okay? You can actually have, the, uh, we can characterize, characterize your unit cell according to its size, its dimensions. So, you have here actually, okay, uh, you have actually sides A, B, C here. Side A, side B, and side C. You have also your angle alpha, angle beta, and angle theta, uh, angle gamma. The angle alpha, angle beta, and angle gamma. And that's actually the edges of your uh, sides, which is A, B, and C. And take note for your unit cell, pero pwede magkaroon ng pagkakaiba-iba sa haba ng A, B, and C. At pagkakaiba sa measurement ng uh, angle alpha, beta, and gamma. So, and because of that, nagkakaroon tayo ng magkakaibang mga unit cells. And these unit cells are actually uh, characterized now as your crystal systems. So, this is the basic pattern, the basic classification we have when we classify your crystal structures. Okay? So, ang tanong ngayon dito is what are these crystal systems? Okay? Take note, we can characterize your crystal systems according to the dimensions of your unit cell. So, we have actually seven crystal systems that we use. First is, yung kaninang pinakita natin, that's your simple cubic, where in A, or side A, side B, side C, is equal, and your alpha, beta, and gamma are all 90 degrees. That's your simple cubic. So, geometry lang to. Okay? Then, you have your tetragonal, wherein A and B has the same dimensions, pero si C are quite longer or shorter than the other two. Okay? So, your alpha, your beta, and your gamma are still 90 degrees. That's your tetragonal. Then, you have your orthorhombic. Your orthorhombic, hindi na pare-paras yung dimensions ni A, B, and C. Pero, yung kanyang angles, lahat ng angles niya, is in 90 degrees. Alright. So, that's your orthorhombic. Okay. The fourth one is called rhombohedral. Wherein your A, B, and C are equal in dimensions. Pero, your A, your alpha, your beta, and your gamma are not anymore 90 degrees. So, kumbaga, para siyang pinatagilid na simple cubic. Okay. Then, yung panglima natin, that's your monoclinic. Your monoclinic, hindi na pare-pares yung A, B, and C. And yung alpha and yung beta na lang ang 90 degrees, while your gamma is not equal to 90 degrees. That's your monoclinic. Then, kung meron tayong monoclinic, you have your triclinic, wherein hindi na sila equal sa lahat. Ibig sabihin, A, B, and C are not equal. Even your alpha, beta, and gamma are not anymore equal and they are not equal also to 90 degrees. That's your triclinic. And lastly, yung ka-seventh crystal system natin is called hexagonal. Okay? So, nagkakaroon ka ngayon ng hexagon na formation wherein yung A and B is equal but it is not equal to C. Then, yung alpha, yung alpha, beta angles natin are still 90 degrees. Samantala, yung ating gamma is already 120 degrees. 
cubic measurement. So these are your crystal systems. You have your simple cubic, tetragonal, or columbic, rhombohedral, monoclinic, triclinic, and hexagonal crystal systems. I would like also to uh, emphasize na meron tayong mga books na mababasa yung mga tinatawag natin lattice system or crystal family. Most likely, pag binanggit natin yung crystal family or lattice system, that's actually uh, same with your crystal system. So, it's almost same, uh, means the same. So, pag binanggit ang crystal system, that's synonymous with lattice system and more likely synonymous with your uh, crystal families. Okay? So, now let's have some examples of these crystal systems in actuality. So, let's have first examples of crystals which more likely has simple cubic cells. Okay? Like, for example, the table salt. Okay? As you can see there at the middle picture or middle figure, you can see there the, microscope, uh, the microscopic view of your crystals. And of course, your macroscopic view on the right side. Okay. You also have your calcium fluoride or what you call your fluoride or fluorspar which is usually used uh, para gumawa ng mga lenses sa mga optical device natin like cameras, microscopes, and telescopes. So yeah, you have your fluoride or fluorspar. So you have your uh, refined fluorspar sa gitna ng, ng figure, this one. And, and you have also the unrefined one, the mineral, the mineral form niya, ito yun. That's your simple cubic, examples of your simple cubic cells. For your tetragonal cell, you have an example called cassiterite, or that's thin oxide. Okay, so this is the refined, uh, unrefined, sorry, the mineral one, and this is the refined. So likely, na, na hasa na siya, Coming term, nahasa or uh, napakinis na siya. Okay? Then, mapapansin ninyo na may isang side na mas mahaba doon sa dalawa. Eh, may, may isang side na mas mahaba kaysa doon sa dalawa. Okay, that's your tetragonal set. And you also have your titania or tartania which is uh, your titanium oxide. So, microscopically, ito ang itsura niya sa inyong right side. And ito yung tura niya, powder form. Yung macroscopic ka. Okay? So that's your tetragonal cell. You have also an example of your orthorhombic cell. Yan. You have your saltpeter. Saltpeter is potassium nitrate. And it is actually used as, uh, as your fertilizer, as a source of your nitrate and potassium, which is good for your, of course, um, plants. So microscopically, you can see it in your right side, yan. pero ito yung tura niya as powder. That's your salt filter. Another example of your orthorhombic cell is your potassium sulfur or arcanite. That's actually potassium sulfate. Okay. Ito yung kanyang mineral form. Once na ito ay napakinis, you have this one. Yan. That's your arcanite. Then, you also have your rhombohedral cell. So, mga rhombohedral cell, Example niyan is, of course, your graphite. Okay, graphite, uh, which is an, a one form of carbon, an, a, one allotrope of carbon. This is actually used, usually, sa mga pencils natin. Okay. And then, you also have, of course, ice. Okay. Solid water. Pero not at all times solid water. Because you have also snow as a form of solid water. Iba kasi rin ang kanyang structure so pagdating sa snow. Pero when you have ice, you have a rhombohedral structure, more likely. Okay. Example also, if you're monoclinic cell, you have your plaster of Paris or gypsum. That's calcium sulfate. Your plaster of Paris usually ginagamit sa mga sculptures. Okay. So your gypsum, or, and ginagamit usually, hindi lang siya sa construct sa uh, um, sculptures, you can also use it as actually your chalk. This is actually the common chalk. Although, chalk talaga is calcium carbonate. Pero usually, gumagamit na rin tayo ngayon ng uh, gypsum as uh, alternate for chalk. Yeah. So, ito yung itsura, yung mineral ng yung gypsum. 
Okay. Then for triclinic cell, example of it is your blue vitriol, or that's your uh, copper sulfate pentahydrate. Yeah, ito yung blue na yan. So ito yung itsura niya in powder form. Yeah. And this one is the mineral form of your blue vitriol. That's your. This is actually used for as a common reagent in laboratories. And ginaga, uh, may mga, dati ginagamit as drying agent because it actually get water. Okay. Ayan. Then, lastly, for hexagonal cell, we have an example here. This is lead iodide or uh, PBI2. Okay. So, ito yung itsura niya sa gitna. You can see, yan yung itsura ng powder ng lead iodide. Pero, under the microscope, ito yung tura niya. Para siyang maliliit, tapiatas. Because it's hexagonal. So, those are examples of your crystal systems in actual uh, materials. So, as a summary, crystalline solids have internal ordered arrangement of particles. The smallest repeating pattern is called unit cell, while the crystalline lattice is the three-dimensional arrangement of the lattice points. Okay? The seven crystal systems okay, are a method of classifying crystals according to their atomic lattices or structure. So that's all for this video lecture. Also remember guys to keep calm and love chemistry. See you on the next video.